Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, brand new week. Today, going to do box 16 of the Ixo Collections release and build the Renault Alpine. Now you know what, I've actually got 16 and 17 down here and box 17, you can probably just see the little blue sheen there, I'm going to tease you. Uh, until the next time I do that, which will probably be later in the week. We've got the full body work, but we're not doing that until the next pack. This pack, once again, I don't know what it is for these, these car builds for the last week, but it's going to be quite a difficult one. We're doing a lot of electrics, plumbing wires through, putting the floor pan down onto the actual chassis here and making sure everything works. Loads to do. But uh, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down in the video description and you can get this all the way from pack one. Did you know that on this channel at the moment, we've got 60% of the people who watch the channel not subscribed? Can you believe that? If you like my content, please do me a favor and click on the subscribe link there and click on the bell and you'll be notified every time that a video is up. See if we can get that more like 50-50. I think 50-50 is around about normal for YouTube channels, but 60, 60 of you, how are you going to get notified about my absolutely fabulous content? <laughs> anyway, talking about fabulous content, I don't no idea how this is going to turn out today. This could be like a car crash Tuesday, but without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to start with stage 61 and look, pipes. <laughs> we had loads of pipes from the build on uh, Friday. So uh, not as many today, just one pipe to put in. Okay, all the instructions for this are in uh, French, but if you want the English instructions, if you go online, they're normally going to be there. This has only just come out, so they're not actually on there at the moment. So I am going to be using the French instructions. Uh, but first thing we're going to do, take this pipe and this unit here, that's going to go in like that, held in with an ACP screw. Very tiny screw this is. I know the P is probably standing for plastic. Not quite sure about the AC. I think it's probably because... Whoops. There may be over 26 screws in this build. I'm guessing. I don't know. And if there is, then there's a good chance that they've gone AA, AB, AC, like that. So let's get this one in first. Oops, almost had an accident there on a Monday morning. I told you there's going to be drama in this build. But don't worry, plasters are on standby. But uh, yeah, I didn't hurt myself then. <laughs> We're going to put the this end in now, going around this way with another ACP screw. So when we've got this full section done, it's going to look just like that. We need to make sure it's round the right way. So if these are facing up, then this catch is going in that direction. Because I've got another couple of pipes to put on either side here. I've got 61F, which I believe is this pipe here. And that's going to go on this side again with ACP screws. The two pipes we're putting in now are very similar. So don't be surprised if I end up having to take these out because I've put them in the wrong way. I'm just checking the fit on them. I mean, it looks okay. Let's try the other one as well, which will go in this side. And I'm just going to look at the pictures and see how that looks. Hmm. Don't know, actually. I think I've got them around the wrong way. I'm going to move them. <laughs> and you know what's going to happen? Just like trying to plug in a USB cable, it'll probably turn out that I was right first time. And I have to change them back again. Don't know, that fits in better, that one. I like that. I'm going with that. So I'm putting the slightly longer one into this side here. Matter of fact, this one does have a mark on it. Like a seven. A backward seven. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's that pipe in that side. And I'll just put the other pipe in the other side. They definitely fit a lot better this way. I'll be shocked if that's not the right way. But there you go, that looks like that. I've got to bring over the car now. So, car's over here. This is going to be going in this way, into the holes just at the back here and here. Just try to line it up. There we go. And it attaches to this bulkhead. I do think that's the correct way because this did have a keyhole pattern on this side. We're going to be attaching all of this to the bulkhead with uh, different screws. Uh, we're going to be putting a DP screw in on this side here. 
for this pipe and then for this pipe over here I'm using an EP screw. Now the DP screw is a flange screw. And then get an EP screw and just secure in this box from the other side like this. This one holds itself in so that's good. Now I need another EP screw because I do have another little bracket to put in here. It's going to go around this way into the two center holes I've got on this firewall here. I'm going to need my tweezers I think to hold this in for me. The bracket goes in this way and just with an EP screw down the center there again to hold that in. Now on this sprue here as you can see we've got two little clips. Let's get these off the sprue. Turn the car around again because these are going to attach to the bulkhead again with the open side facing towards the seats with these tiny MP screws as you can see there. So I have got my magnifying glasses on which I'm definitely going to need here. Put the screw through first I think. I think this is a job for using a uh, very small screwdriver this one. Just like that. Get this in. And there we go. That's one in place. I'll just do the same on the other side. And there we go. They're in place. And that just leaves this pipe that we got in just to clip into each side of those clips. One. And two. So it's coming out pretty much equidistance each side. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Quite a fiddly one, that one. And believe me, it gets fiddlier. Look at this. <laughs> I've got stage 62. And I'm going to need something we haven't seen for a long time, which is the dashboard. We did this score way back in. Let me see if it tells me what... Uh, issue 3. Issue 3 we did that. Uh, we did have this section here which we do need to take out. They don't want this in. I think they think we're going to break this. So I've taken that out. Okay, put that to one side. First off, I'm going to make the steering column. So probably best to just show you how this goes together. We're going to have this together like this. And if the circle's down below, we want the square side uh, arm to be on this side, the other side to be on here. So the smaller one that i got here is going in to this point here. And then the longer one looking like this on the other side. Now I'm going to hold that together with one of these AP screws. And that's just screwed in from the underside here. Excellent. Now they can't fall out. I've got a guide for the steering rod to go into this end here. Like that. Bring over the dashboard. I want to put this lip just under the lip, under the dials there. And push that in. So I can see it from the other side. It's coming through, as you can see there. Having to tease it on. And I'm going to hold it in with one of these AP screws. There you go, that's going to hold that into place. I'm going to put that back in there, because that's going to sit like that. And we can put that to one side. Now, bringing the car over, this is where things are going to get difficult. I need to take this red lead here. Now, I want this red lead to be in front of the pipe that we had here. So it's coming out of this side. I want to put it through the hole that you might just be able to see in this section here. So I'm just going to manipulate this round. Just remember, when we put it through here, this isn't attached. So to get access, you can just lift this up just about <laughs> like that now this bit's going to be fun we've got a bracket to put this switch in so i'm gonna just press this into place sort of got like a channel for it to to go in so you can sort of like slide it on and as you can see it sort of holds itself in like that when it's this way around we want this switch because it's actually offset to one side to be on my right side here because this is going to be going 
I just get this part back in for the dashboard here, this silver part. Hang on a second. Put that in there. This is going to be going through that silver part. And then I'm going to be screwing this bracket to the deck like that. Just with some AP screws. Did I just call that a deck then? I meant dashboard. I was building a ship. <laughs> okay, so that's one in this side. And one in the other side. And then what that will enable us to do, hopefully, if I turn the car on, when I push this, it should activate things like the headlights. Let me see if I've got the... Uh, headlights together here so you can see them all of these lights here so when I push it they should turn on and off as you can see on off on off perfect now what we want to do is turn this dashboard this way around and just rest it on the chairs and the top of the gear stick just there things are going to get a bit fiddly now <laughs> I need to put this control board which has got LED lights on just through that same hole that I put the switch through. So I'm just going to get that in. And slide that in. Like that. Don't want the other side of that with the headlights to come out. Just I'm just interested in this wire here. And again I'm going to tidy all of this up so that we have hidden that wire there. The lights would just come through. I'm just going to go onto the brackets either side here, like this. Once again, they're held in with AP screws. And this is going to light those dials up on the dashboard. And then we get to leave that exactly like we saw. Remember, keep this safe because we took this off the dashboard, but that's all there is to do in that stage. And that leaves us with the last hard stage of this pack. There is one more stage after this, which is quite easy. And the first thing we need are these plates which hang down from the dashboard. Now they are labeled L and R, left and right. Now we have some tiny lenses here, which are gonna be going onto the inside area. So where these come over the top like that, these lenses are gonna be going inside there. They're held in with those tiny MP screws. So when the lens is in, it should look just like that. And I'm going to do the same on the other side here. Now these will illuminate when the doors are open. And for that reason, if I just bring this across and turn it on, the two lights which are coming out here, I'm actually going to just disconnect this wire. So this wire is G. As I said, you do have a short end and a larger end. We also need to take out another wire, which is F. And again, the reason we're taking these wires out is because the bulbs illuminate those lights, but the switches activate the doors. So we need both of these wires out. Again, so we've got a shorter one. Now this is going to fit in just like that. Hopefully you can see. And it's going to be held in with an IP screw just from the top here. So get that lined up. And screw that down. Just like that. So as you can see, the switch can now activate that way around. Do the same on the other side. And there you go. That's that one in as well. Now everything else we do, we've got to do while the, the dashboard is on the car. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. So then I'm going to take this side here, which is my left side. And that's just going to go over the top of this section here, held in with an AP screw. Remember, these flaps at the bottom are going to be facing towards the dials. So make sure you put it in the right way. <laughs> this one's going to go in this way. So as you can see, that first one's in just like that. Do the same on the other side. And then to keep all of these wires tidy, we're just going to batch them all up. Just like this. And I've got a little bridge clip to put on which again is held in with an AP screw. And then when that's on, just tidy up to get these cables through pretty much like that. That's looking good. 
Now I did forget one set of wires to put in because you know me, I forget everything. It's a Monday morning, which is just the short and long versions for the lights which are going into the back of these. So you just push these in here and then fold down the wire at the front. Do the same on the other side. So push in and fold down the wire. And then this needs to go through that clip as well. So I'm just gonna get that in. And there you go, that's all of those through. I'm just gonna pull through so there's no excess on this. Just like this. Plus it does keep it quite tidy. And I wanna lift this back up then and then push these wires through the hole. And then as I'm tightening these wires up through that hole, I'm just gonna make sure that the steering rod here goes into place. As you can see, I'm just uh, pulling this forward, tidying up these wires as I go. to make sure this can sit in exactly where it needs to. There you go, that's pretty much perfect. I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna hold these two sections down here with IP screws. So that's one. And that one's two. Just wanna connect up the wires now. So once again, G is going back to G, and F is going back to F. Then all of these wires can be hidden down here. Now they do suggest batching them up, but if you batch them up, I find that it's gonna stop this going against the bulkhead, which you don't wanna do. So I'm gonna keep that loose. What I am gonna do though, is make sure that all the plugs are behind this section here, and the only one that I want to be able to be visible through the front is the headlights here. So get this all into place. I am taking this section off just for a second. Let's get it in my way. We are going to be doing something with that in a second. And as you can see, that fits in there perfectly. And all the wires are lovely and hidden away. Let's just get rid of that G. Don't want to see that. There you go. As you can see, all the wires are now hidden away apart from this headlight wire, which is coming out through the front here. So that's gonna be done later on. The steering column, if you can see here, is all the way through the steering wheel. So that's ready to go. If I turn on the lights here, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them. Obviously these side lights come on, but when I activate the switches on these, so one here and one here, they should, turn off let's uh try that there you go turn off and on off and on brilliant uh underneath the steering wheel as you can see the headlights come on and also the tower lights should come on here as well perfect all that's left to do then turn it over because i need to now put the floor pan into place now it's held in with four just turn it slowly here. EP screws just here, here, and I think there's a couple this side as well. I'm going to do that. Uh, I can't really turn it on its hood. I don't want to break anything. I'm going to actually, let's try. Everything should be in place, so I shouldn't be breaking anything. Although, <laughs> who knows? Let's find out. Ah, oh, not bad. Not bad. There we go. Look, we managed to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna get this floor pan into place. So do this back one first, I think. That's one. Then I'll do this top corner over here. Top corner on this side. Perfect. And then just the floor pan on this side. That went in easier than I thought it would. Two more things left to do. I'm just going to be taking this pipe here and that's going to be going into the hole that we can see just there. Perfect. 
and I'm going to just reattach what I took from the dashboard earlier on. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That was crazy. <laughs> So the last stage, a really quick stage this one's going to be, we've just got a bit of the skirt to put on here and it's two screws to go in and that's all there is to do in that stage. So, now it does say turn it over but now I've reattached this thing here, I'm only going to keep it on its side. It's actually going to go on the other side, typical, with the square section fitting towards the back, it's going to go on like that, held in with the SM screws. When that's on, it should look like that. That's all there is to do in that stage, and that is all there is to do in that pack. You just know you're going to get a fiddly stage when you do these, so uh, I'm glad that's done. The wires are now in place. Don't have to worry about wires anymore. All it's going to be is putting bodywork on and trim on. I'm guessing that's where we are uh, with the Alpine. Lovely build though, and I like how the electrics are quite simplistic. We've only got the headlights, brake lights, and the um, door lights. That's it. There's no sounds or anything like that to worry about, but... Uh, there it is. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Ixo Collections website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you remember to subscribe, <laughs> please remember to subscribe. That didn't make sense. Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you like that video. Take care.